Struggling with decisions? Imagine if you had all the confidence in the world to help you make decisions in your life. What to order from the menu, where to send your kids to school, what color to paint your house, who to marry. Wouldn't it be amazing if every time you decided to do something, it was the perfect decision and all of your dreams came flooding into reality? Well, that's not going to happen. You're human with a complicated human brain. Or maybe it is happening and you just haven't looked at it that way yet. We all have a natural tendency to second guess ourselves. There are so many amazing things out in the world. We wish we could have a piece of all of them. And there's so many terrible things out there that we're hoping to avoid. Choosing what to have and how to avoid can feel like a lot of weight. But what if it's not? What if everything you choose is perfect for you and everything you encounter was meant for you, even the yucky stuff? My clients who've had abortions fall into one of three categories. Category one, they always struggled with decisions and abortion was not an exception. Category two, they didn't used to struggle with decisions, but since abortion, they've been in a constant state of decision confusion. And category three, they own their decisions, including abortion, and are working with me to reach the goals they set for themselves before and after the procedure. Category one has told herself all her life that decisions are hard for her. She thinks this is a truth, but it's not. It's a belief that she has full power to change. Category two comes to me struggling with regret, wonder, or the habit of living in the past. She thinks she'll always be this way, and the good news is she's wrong. She can let go of all her pain and be free again. And category three is where all my clients eventually get. And as we work together, they become more and more confident in making future decisions to keep building the life of their dreams. Category three is where I am too. Abortion was not a part of my plan, but it became a part of my reality. And I took the opportunity to make it mean something. I live the very best life, not despite my abortion, but in honor of it and the baby I chose not to bring to term. I'm wishing you category three too. If you're struggling with decision making and you've had an abortion, take some time to explore how it's all connected and or send me a message. We can work together to help you build confidence in your decision making.